Sir, you've indicated to Mr. Murley on a couple of occasions in your uh, examination in chief that uh, the adrenaline was flowing on this particular evening. Isn't that correct? That is correct. And you've indicated to, to Mr. Murley, and I've got your words here uh, highlighted, that you said the details are a little shady. Isn't that correct? That is correct. And I'm going to suggest to you that as you uh, sit here today and, giving, and are giving evidence before this court that your recollection uh, with regard to the events that took uh, place on this particular date are in fact not all that good or clear. I think they're clear to the extent that uh, I can recollect them. Well, what do you mean then when you say the details are a little shady? That would tend to suggest, would it not, sir, that, that your recollection and your memory as it relates to the night in question is really not that good. I it's just shady, mean, right? It's shady. Right. And I want to ask you about, uh, you indicated that you had been uh, out with your fiancé on that evening. Is that correct? That's correct. And uh, was your fiancé present when all this was going on in the park? That's correct. And is that person here today? That is correct. That's so right. They're, they're not here today. They're not here today. And they're not under subpoena uh, by your counsel uh, to be here to give evidence about what happened? No. And that person would be someone who uh, apparently uh, would have been a witness to this and, and would have been able to testify about what happened, correct? It would seem so. Right. I'm sorry, do you agree? I agree. And, uh, sir, can you tell me what, um, what the coalition is? Uh, it's a group of concerned citizens who want to make policing better in our city. Right. And what kind of things do you do with the coalition? We monitor unlawful or improper police activity, and we uh, report on that activity to the appropriate authorities. And so that's like an, an advocate group, correct? That's correct. And that's like a, a citizen's group that uh, is there to police the police, if I could call it that. Is that right? Yes. And you, uh, through your involvement with the coalition, are certainly of the view that... Um, some police officers are, in fact, rotten. Isn't that right? Well, in the sense that some police officers can be bad apples, absolutely. Well, I use the term rotten. Would you agree with me that, in your view, some police officers are rotten? Depends on what you mean by what, uh, rotten. Well, you gave a statement to the police, correct? Uh, I think so, yeah. Well, do you know so? I did take, uh, give a statement to the police. Right. And at page two of your statement on the third paragraph uh, down from the top, and again, Your Honor, just to break for a moment, this would have been, had to have been voir dire and sure. a ruling made as, uh, I, I'm as it assuming relates to the voluntary. there was a voir dire in which I have already ruled that his statement to the police is, uh, is, uh, was admissible because if not, uh, Mr. Hull would not be able to, would not be allowed to cross-examine on it. And you'll agree with me that you say in that the third paragraph down, you say, I know through my work at the coalition that there are some rotten ones referring to police officers. Is that correct? That's correct. Some officers abuse their authority. And in fact, that's, uh, that's why you became involved in this incident on, uh, on this particular night, wasn't it? That's incorrect. You knew that Officer Fantasia was a police officer. That's not true. He identified himself as a police officer to you. That's not true. And you believe that what was taking place, this beating that you witnessed, was a rotten police officer abusing his authority, correct? That's not true. Well, you indicated to Mr. Marley that the reason you struck the officer was so he would not hurt you, correct? That's correct. And you indicated as well that you weren't sure what it was that uh, the officer was reaching for inside his clothing. Is that correct? That's also correct. So you yeah. feared for your safety. I did. Is that right? So let me understand this then. It's 11.30 at night, correct? You have to answer. Yes, sorry, that's correct. You are aware that this park is a park that's frequented by drug users. That's correct. It's a shady area of town, correct? That's correct. You come upon two individuals who you, according to you, have to assume are drug addicts and drug dealers, correct? That's correct. Because they're certainly dressed like that, according to you, right? That's correct. They're dirty looking. That's correct. Rough looking. Rough looking. Right. 
So given what you know about the neighborhood and the park, you have to assume that these are two drug users that are fighting in the park. Is uh, that right? That's right. Yeah. Right. And it's certainly not unreasonable to assume that two drug users dressed like that, dirty, fighting in this drug park at about 11.30 at night, it's certainly not unreasonable to assume that one of them might be armed with something, right? It's not unreasonable. They might have a gun. They might. They might have a knife. They might have a knife. They might have needles, dirty needles. That's right? correct, yeah. You're certainly not concerned about your safety at that point when you go and involve yourself with two individuals that you say you don't know one of them is a police officer. I think I can also be concerned for my safety at the same time as intervening to help somebody. And what did you think to gain by doing that? It wasn't about personal gain. Pardon me? It wasn't about personal gain. I, I just see. wanted to help this person. Who it was, was an beaten. adrenaline rush for you, wasn't it? Uh, That's no. what this was about. That's not correct. Right? Well, you've indicated that now a couple of times in examination, Chief. You said the adrenaline was flowing. It certainly was. It's a natural human response to situations right. of danger. You wanted to impress your fiance, maybe. That's not true. Right. And then when you found out that Officer Fantasia was a police officer and was putting this beating on this other individual, you took it upon yourself as a member of this coalition to police the police, correct? That's not true. And in fact, you had been out earlier that evening and you had consumed alcohol. I had, that's true. And between yourself and your fiance, you consumed an entire bottle of wine, correct? That's right, about two glasses each. And I'm going to suggest to you that certainly at this point in the evening, when you came into the park, you were feeling the effects of that alcohol consumption. No, it was many hours later. Many hours later? Well, what time did you have the wine? Uh, dinner, which is before the movie. I see. Do you have any drugs? No. Yourself? I is did that not. what you were doing, actually, in the park that night, was to purchase drugs? That's not true. I was walking home. How far away is your home from this location? Uh, within walking distance. Have you walked through this park before? I sometimes do. At 11.30 at night? Only when I'm coming home from a film that I wanted to see. Did you not fear for your safety going through the park at this time of night? Even without these two drug addicts fighting in the park, did you not have uh, some fear or concerns for your safety as you're walking through this drug park, shady area, 11.30 at night? I guess you just always assume it's never going to happen to you. Why would you make that assumption, sir? You're a member of the coalition. So you have some savviness, I suppose, as it relates to what's going on on the street. You've indicated that you're aware that this is a bad park, a bad neighborhood. Why would you think that it wouldn't happen to you? Everyone just assumes that. Same thing as like home break-ins. You always assume it's not going to happen to you no matter what the statistics are. Everyone assumes that. Is that right? I think so. Would you agree that the two persons uh, that you saw fighting initially you would describe as looking like heroin addicts? That's uh, correct. Now, have you talked to your fiancé about what happened on that particular night? Yes. I'm going to suggest to you that you've talked to this person numerous occasions about what happened that night. We've talked about it a few times. Right. This was a big event for you, right? It certainly was. Right. And I'm going to suggest to you that you told your fiancé what you saw and what you experienced. Your fiancé told you about what that person saw and experienced, correct? That's correct. And I'm going to suggest to you that, that whatever gaps you had in your memory or your observations were certainly filled in by the observations and recollections of your fiancé. Um, Is that fair? I don't know if that's fair. I'm reporting uh, the incident as I remember it. But you've indicated already that your memory is shady about what happened. And I've indicated those areas where it is shady. Well, what areas are those? Because you didn't indicate any specific areas that you said were shady. Uh, my suggestion to you was that your recollection in general is clouded by this shadiness. You don't agree with that? Uh, I agree with that. So, not only then, according to you, do you not hear Officer Fantasia identify himself as a police officer to you before you pull him off this other person? Is it your evidence as well that you don't hear Officer Ugarts yelling and shouting 
stop police as he's approaching you? You don't hear that either? That's correct. Well, what did you hear? I heard Officer Ugart say police as he tackled me to the ground. So up until that point, this police officer in a white officer's uniform with a police hat on, running across the park, shouting that he's a police officer. You don't hear any of that. That's correct. Because probably in your mind, Officer Ugarts was also probably a rotten police officer too, wasn't he? That's not true. And again, I'm going to suggest to you that, that all of this was, sir, was that it was your attempt to be the big man. It was your attempt to police the police, right? No. It was your attempt to pull this police officer who may or may not have been executing his duty in your mind by beating this other person, according to you. It was your goal that you're going to stop this rotten police officer from hurting this other citizen. That's not true. Right, so those are my questions. Re-exam, Mr. Marlin? No, you're on. Thank you. Thank you, sir.